Hello. Right. Because I'm too lazy to go and write a big long document, I'm going to show you on a piece of film just how I set up the camera to shoot Aurora. So, this here is my old Canon 450D. Now, the settings we're going to use here, well, they just work across all the different DSLRs. We've got a Sony 14mm wide angle lens. So, here we go. We'll set the camera to manual to start with. If you ever switch on the side of your lens or on your camera body, you can turn off your autofocus. Turn off your autofocus because you're going to work everything in manual. Right, straight away. We open the aperture of the lens to as wide as it will go. That's f2.8 and here we go switch the camera on the first thing we're going to do here is adjust the exposure time whack that up to 20 seconds now we're going to adjust the sensitivity of the camera with the ISO press that button there and here we go notice how each time it changes it's twice as much as the time before this camera only goes up to 1600 but later model DSLRs you'll get 3200 and 6400 and when it goes up and up but for us this is, this is as sensitive as we're going to go white balance, we'll take a look at the white balance here and we'll put that on automatic, give us the most natural colours that's really the one to go for and to take the camera shake out because you're sitting with your camera on a nice bit of tripod we use the self timer and we'll set it for two seconds so that gives us a two second delay in pressing the button and the camera going off you go to your live view in the daylight focus that, well this is actually just looking at a door but focus that on an object on the horizon nice and sharp and the way you focus with your wheel get it nice and sharp a trick now take a pencil or something and make a line across the gap so when this is all aligned you know your camera is in focus and you can do that nice and easily with a torch. The other thing you can do focusing at night is use your live view and zoom in on a house light in the far distance. This camera here needs to get five times, ten times zoom on the screen now. So I'd find the house light, focus away the focus wheel, get it as sharp as I could, and I'd be good to go. So that is really all there is to it. Switch your camera to manual, open your aperture as wide as it will go. Start off with 15 or a 20 second exposure, 1600 ISO and just pop away your photograph. Your two second shutter delay, press your button, one, two, it takes your photograph. Simples. Let's just put that back there now. Just go through that once more. Camera to manual. Your lens open as wide as it'll go. Low F number. Start with a 15 or a 20 second exposure. See how you go. You can always increase this up to 30, it'll be your maximum. The faster you can expose, so like an 8 second exposure, the more detail you're going to capture, but the less light you're going to capture as well. So it's all a bit of a trade off. ISO 1600, 3200 if you've got it. Automatic white balance, self timer, take the shake out. Focus your camera 
and you're good to go. And that's really all there is to setting your camera up for a bit of Aurora photography. Practice with it in the daylight so you're proficient at changing your settings and you can find them in the dark. So if you're messing around with torches and messing yourself up with your night vision. Really, really simple. Right, I hope you found that instructional. Thanks very much.